The 2024 primary is less than a week away. In Cook County, the clerk of the circuit court incumbent, Iris Martinez, is running against challenger Mariana Sparapolis. Iris joins us this morning to talk more about the election. Good morning and thanks for Good joining morning. us. Good morning. Thank you, Brian, for being here. Now, in your first term, you opened some domestic violence and expungement centers. So what do you think you have planned if you are elected again? I'm going to continue to expand on those type of programs. I mean, if you, when, when you look about when I did clerk in the communities all over uh, the county, we discovered a lot of the people were really looking for real resources in the in the clerk's office. And I, you know, got my hands, you know, into it instead of providing all this kind of resources from a call center to a self litigant office to a, you know, to a domestic violence center and now the expungement center. So we've been working really, you know, hard and trying to transform that office. So, you know, the lies that are being set out there about our office, it's really dis it's disheartening because we have a lot of hardworking individuals in that office that have really, you know, embraced the mission that we came in and we've transformed that office. We have digitized over 100 million records already have been digitized. And that was that was, that, that took some time. I came in the, in the heart of COVID. So you could imagine trying right. to organize. Shackman was in the office. So there was a lot of, you know, a lot of obstacles. But guess what? Here it is almost three and a half years in. We've made a lot of progress. And then the lies that are being told is really disheartening out there because that person doesn't know anything about our office. And, you know, and, and, and for me, the importance of making the resources available to all of the Cook County residents was mm -hmm. very, very important to me as a as a former legislator. Yes. I understood, you know, you, what it is. And you mentioned some of those lies. Your opponent did say is that the technology isn't up to date in the clerk's office. So what have you done to kind of update some of those systems? Well, you know, when we got there was a paper base, boxes everywhere of just records, you know, seeing, sitting around, cleaned up that office, sent everything to the warehouse and needed to be in the warehouse, but digitized. Understand, she's lying about this. We have digitized over a hundred million cases have been digitized. That is technology. A website, a website, a, you know, we've won awards on the re, you know, redoing the, the website and we got awards for the best redesigned website, government website, where people said it's the most most friendly, user-friendly, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, system that we have. So we've been working on all that. So this misconception that's out there that our office is not modernized, yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I and we've, we take great pride in what we've done. And the lies have got to stop about you know what's going on in my office because you have no idea what is going on in the office when you don't even you're not even registered you know through our CCC portal to practice in our system so you can't you don't know anything about efund and so you know the lies about an office for someone who doesn't know anything about mm -hmm. our office has to stop and you've also recently launched an effort to protect the private information of women so why is that so important to you well as a former legislator and, a, and someone that always was involved in, in making sure that women's reproductive rights were always protected this is another way of making sure that the records are sealed you know when a woman you know comes to court and her reproductive uh, you know, matters are in that record. We want to make sure we seal that. Again, the privacy has to be something that has to be the utmost, especially through our court systems. And your office also did come under fire for a data error that gave a felony record to somebody who didn't have one. So how do you respond to that situation? Again, another lie. Okay. Another lie. We are just a keeper of the records. We cannot invent or put things in it that is not. So the public defender's office and the folks, there's three people that have the right to give us the information. It was not put into the system. We cannot add anything, even though we might see something. So right away when we saw that, we called the PD's office, we called the office of the of the judge and said mm -hmm. something here is has to be fixed. And we fixed it, but never, never, ever did that happen. So, so is that again, a communication error between, I guess, your office and the public defenders? No, we were right. We we saw the error and right away because they have to input the information. We cannot just go in and put information without it being on a call on a call sheet. The judge is the only one allowed, I mean, he's the only one that can actually dictate something, uh -huh. and then we input that information. If it's not there, we cannot put it in. And we saw that right away. We talked to all of them, got them together, and they were able to fix it. But the fact that they're li that she lied about that, again, another thing that she lied about. Gotcha. Yeah. Thanks so much, Iris Martinez, for joining us this morning.